Hi, my name is Ken Coleman and this is not a sponsored video. Now excuse me while I gush. This is just a very quick excuse me while I gush about two automotive models. First is the Plasma Series Ecto-1 and it's been customized, custom made to be a replica of what we are going to be seeing in um, Ghostbusters Afterlife. It's altered and in some ways altered to match what my Lego model looks like. Give or take some rust and scorch marks. Four doors open. Front driver's side. Front passenger side. Rear passenger side. And the jump seat comes out. And the rear door. Then you have to pull it out a little bit just so that it can work its way around the curves of the vehicle. And if you look in there, that's the remote trap that in the Lego model deposits out through the bottom. In my opinion, the only downside, which in some ways is practical in terms of size management, is that this isn't to scale with the rest of the plasma line. So unlike, say, the uh, Kenner Ghostbusters line, where you could place the figures in regular seated position in the Ecto-1. You can't do with the plasmas. The legs are too long and feet too rigid. But you can put it this way. <laughs> Pretty pretend sort of like an optical illusion. But I think the plasma figures much more to scale with the uh, Lego Creator series. Right up there. So the other unboxing is going to be Lego. And it's one of the main reasons why I showed you the Ecto-1 the other night. I think this is what I think it is. Uh, this one assembly will be required. So it's going to be a Lego Creator Fiat 500. And I'm not entirely sure the date's right off the cuff. I think it might be late 50s, early 60s, somewhere within the mid 20th century. And it's a little austere, but I love the rigidness. And at least from this American's perspective, cute size. And I look forward to making it based on the piece count, 960. And it should probably be about a third of the size of the Ecto-1, but to the same scale. Maybe the plasma size Ghostbusters can ride around in it.
Ghostbusters got it. Italy. Come to think of it, mid 20th century, this would fit right along with what the original purpose is for the Miller Meteor catalogs were. So if you like Lego, if you like Ghostbusters, if you like anything in this video, please give a thumbs up, leave comments below, subscribe for more footage like this, more uh, fandom, geekdom. Sometimes I cover food recipes and my frozen flavors, frozen faves. I'm Ken Coleman and have a good night.